Alright, here we go. One of the hardest ones of the week, number two most popular order in America. How to arrange a dozen roses. It is the most popular by specifics in America as far as orders go. And when I come to your house as your anniversary, your flowers look like this. And then you get three pieces of green. And you play with them for an hour and a half and you call me over and say, look what I got for my anniversary. I'm like, I never liked them anything. And then you try this look. And then you try this look. So I'm going to show you how to do it right. This was one of the most popular videos ever on my YouTube with controversy. First of all, I use leather fern. And yes, I clogged a drain. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to explain it again because a lot of people didn't watch the whole YouTube. They're like, my boss would kill me if I, if I sent out dirty water. Well, watch the whole video. And listen, because you, we talked about leather fern. I use it in that YouTube video that has over 2 million views. But I don't use it in real life. We used it in the 80s. It's over with. I don't like leather fern. I mean, I think it's pretty, but I would never use it. It's just the grocery store green. It dries out much quicker than this. This is 50 cents more a bunch. Why would you do it? So, watch carefully. We did this the other day where it's when we were doing loose face flowers. Cross to the left, over here, turn it to the right. Cross your, your greens at 10 o'clock, turn it to 2 o'clock. 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you, you can use big stems. 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock, this is lemon leaf. 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock, you're getting about 10 stems in your hand. Let's see how many I've done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, see how good I am. You're going to slide your hand up nice and high. I'm going to put one more, there's a little on the fence. This is important, slide up nice and high. Take your clippers and see your pinky. Cut it right below the pinky. Then you take your vase, clear the runway. And you're gonna squeeze this together like this and jam it down that vase. I know you're all saying, oh, the water's so dirty, I'm gonna explain that later. When you shove it, this is very important, you're gonna feel it grip and you let go. The little tugging right where that vase narrows. So see how I clog the drain? See that, Anthony? Clog the drain. Right there. If your steps are too long, it's gonna bounce back out. If you hit the bottom, it'll push it back up out. That's how you know your steps are too long. Now, the formula is seven, six, I'm sorry, six, five, and one. So first of all, you have your roses clean. So you do six in the lower deck, five in the upper deck, one in the penthouse. You understand? The lower deck is one and a half times the height of your container. The upper deck is twice the height of your container. So I'm going to move this over this right table. Watch how I do this. Watch carefully. If this is on the lip of the container, the length of the container is one. One, one and a half. See that? So here's the, here's the length of my container. This, this way. I have the hands large enough to do it. One. So if you're measuring on your rows, you do one, that's about eight and a half inches. One and a half is right about there. So you're going to cut it right about there, pick up any of these thorns, and you're going to send it sideways through your container. Watch this. Don't go down. People think flowers only go down, but they don't. They go across the base. See where it hits? Widest part of the base. Watch. That's how you get. That's how you get. Tell them to. You tell them. That's how you get the arch. One, one and a half. Punch it through. Two. One, one and a half. Punch it through. Like you have six steps. And look, do you hear that? That means it's going through those greens, and they're all hitting in the widest part of the base. It gives you the most lift. One, one and a half, punch it through. You gotta hold it like this. Stop holding your flowers up here and doing this. You go underneath, that's important too. You go underneath the green, tip it up slightly, and feed, 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 four. One, one and a half. Here comes number five, punch it through, five. Here comes number six. These are nice roses for basic today. We got lucky. One, one and a half, not too many thorns, nice and straight. 
Whenever your roses have a little curve, see that curve? It throws them off. Watch how this one. This one probably won't go in as easily. Yeah, it did. We got lucky. There's six on your lower deck. If I put a piece of glass there, I'd have a coffee table, right? It's like a wedding cake. They're all on the same tier. Now, before I go any further, watch what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I should have done this at the beginning. I'm going to tap them and save the straightest, longest one for later. There's number 12. Here comes the second round. One, twice the length of your base. Look, they're not even long enough. It doesn't matter. I don't have to hit the bottom. Right here, one. So twice the length of your base. One, two, right there. And here comes, I call it the campfire. There's a little ring of roses right up here. Right there. You see my arch coming up and over? So a lot of people do this. You're not supposed to jump around them. They should be meeting. It's like putting up the points of the Colosseum or a dome or a, a planetarium. Next comes number three. One, two. Fuck them, my two. Fold it down low, feed it in. Ooh, perfect. Some days you just get enough greens in there like today where they just stick perfectly if you're not fighting. Sometimes you fight all day with me. But I hit it on the head for it. Here comes number four. Oops, that one's a little harder. Punch it through, get it in there. There's number four. Just like in the movies, a dozen roses are arranged. And they do tend to move around. Here comes number five. One, two, I don't even have to measure. I've been doing this a million years. There's your six and your five. Capiche? Now number one, run up the flag. This is two plus a pitch. One, two plus a pitch. So twice the length of your base, a little bit, a little bit of pitch. This sucker runs right down the middle. Kaboom, right there. Six, five, and one. Got it? There's a dozen roses arranged in a vase, just like in the movies. In the movies, actually, they always have double, uh, two dozen. When you look at the movie, there's always two dozen roses arranged in a vase. Now, this is what bad florists send out. Scraggly dozen roses. You have to get a nice close-up on that. And uh, Jacob. So now, you're going to collar, feather, and fill. This isn't done. This is Whitaker doesn't come to my shop for scrawny roses. I'm gonna go all the way around. Look at this collar it right there at the lip. Just like a rose bush in a garden has green supporting all that look at actually cheap. They give a little bend. I'm just gonna fill this out, and the more I stick in there, the tighter that bird's nest I built. That's about that long. Give it a little curl and collar all the way around, supporting all that growth coming out of your vase. Collar, 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 all the way around. Then, when you've collared all the way around, you're going to fill. Oh, here's a nice fill piece. You're going to take up most of the stem. Do you see that naked stem? Right I don't like that. I'm going to see that naked stem. I'm going to cover them up. Decency. Show a little decency. Unlike fashion today, where everybody's naked, we're still covering up, right? I was reading something on phone last night about naked fashion. Most people did not care for it. Anyway, we're going to cover these up. See? The modesty is what we have in our roses. So, here's a nice collaring piece. I'm going to do a little more collar. So, you want to cover up all those naked stems. Classic look. Now, see it's getting fuller, isn't it? Nice and full. My clients come to me for big, fat rose bushes in a jar. I'm going to add a little bit more. And they always say on that YouTube video, my boss would kill me if I used all those greens. I'm charging for every piece I put in there. I say, well, your boss is not very bright. Why is he trying to save your customers money? I'm not. I used to, I'll tell you a story. I used to have a dozen roses outside on a sandwich board, it would say roses $19.99 a dozen, right? And they would come in, and I'd have one of these sitting at the cash register, all decked up. A supreme bunch of roses, and they'd say, 
Yo, dude, I'll take one of those. There are dozens out there. Remember, my, my flower shop is on the wrong side of the tracks where I had a shop. Uh, and they would say, yo, I'll take one of those dozens. And I will say, great. Notice I'm filling in, they get nice and full. I'd say, would you rather have this though? All ready when she comes home tonight. We're sitting at her dining room table, looking really good. Now I'm gonna fill. For filler today, I'm gonna use You come up this. Well, you thought I was done? Almost. Uh, collar, feather, fill, CFL. Now I'm going to take some fill, which could be baby's breath if you're old traditional. I'm going to use some eucalyptus. Um, and I'd say, wouldn't you rather have this when she walks in tonight instead of having a bag of roses looking like you came from the grocery store? You're going to have a beautiful arrangement. Yeah, bro. How much is that? <laughs> 65. Whoa, 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 it says outside there, man, 1999. Don't you try, you know. I go, oh, I'm not. If you want them in a bag on the floor, like you came from Ralph's grocery store, that's 1999. And I'm gonna put them in this pretty vase. Fact, you can see it's not a big vase, so eight bucks, you're at about 20.99. I'm gonna put in $10 worth of greens, so you're at 30.99 to hold it all in place on a beautifully designed. I'm gonna add $10 worth of filler, like this beautiful eucalyptus. And because you're new with me, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of wax bar. This will, this will fill up the whole house with fragrance. So tomorrow morning when she wakes up, the whole house smells. Because roses, I just have to educate your customer. Roses do not have a lot of fragrance anymore. They're built for durability, high petal count, color. By the way, these will last you two weeks in your house. No, 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 not four days, two weeks. So, they're built for durability and lasting. So, they don't have a lot of fragrance, but this does. If you snap the bark, it smells like citrus and pepper. Very pretty. So, tomorrow morning when she wakes up, the whole house will smell of this, and she'll say, oh, that's why they brought me flowers. So, I'm gonna throw some of this in. So, wait, let's do that again. We're at $21.99, $19.99 with the vase, $21.99 with the greens, uh, $31.99 with the wax bar, $41.99, and I'm only going to charge you $10 to use my expertise to design this, like I'm doing right now. So you're at $51.99. I'll give you a deal. Fifty bucks. It's yours. How many guys do you think ever turned this down in the eight years I had a flower shop? Two. Good guess. It was zero, but the two were on motorcycles. <laughs> and I was like, I remember the day I was like, dude, get me those bungee cords. I'll get this on your bike. I will do it. I can do it. They're like, no, man, I'll just come back. I'm like, no, 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 get me your bungee cords. <laughs> Pretty, huh? It's a classic. Now, if they thought it'd be bigger, you go like this. I told you that the other day. <laughs> just pull it all up. <laughs> and then you charge them another $10. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the law said they're $62. Now, what's the last problem I have, Anthony? What's wrong with this arrangement, right? Now? What? Irish soup, I call that. How is mine today? Eh, a little dirty. You do this, you pull the whole thing out and hold it in your hand. Bring me your vase of fresh water then, my dear. Yeah. Then you clean off all the bottom. You switch hands, you go from both sides, get rid of any of that bacteria producing stuff. But it is the clogging of the drain that made this purpose. Nice fresh water. Here's our closing shot, Mr. Jacob. You're gonna carefully lower that in. Cause it's really loose now. Drop it slowly. One bad curve, one bad corner on the freeway and that thing will go flying. So when you clean out the water, you have to go back and re-collar it. Do you hear that crunching sound? I literally built a bird's nest, just like a bird. So I take about four or five more pieces and I tighten up that drum right there. It needs a little more collaring anyway. So tighten it up and then you give it to your driver and he can go 70 miles an hour and the puppy will last. How do I know that? I used to be a driver. <laughs> People say, how'd you learn how to design? I go, 
Well, on the side of the road, when it was laying like this, and I would go, well, there was a gladiola here, I think, and, and then there was one over here. I would literally be putting the arrangements back together on the side of I-94 and still walking, because it would hit the side of that. Um, because when you're a driver, you forget you have flowers in the back. You pound that wheel and whoosh! Uh, we, also carry, we used to carry bottles of water so that when the water spilled out, we'd fill them up. So they wouldn't know that they had rolled in the truck. Okay, those are not to be repeated. What happens in flower school today? Stays in flower school. Happy anniversary, darling. Oh, you should do two dozen. That's really the bomb. And then I tell those guys, listen, are you the king over at that house or not? Is there trouble? Is there something you want to talk about? No, I'm the king, dude. Well, then do two dozen. Come on. For a hundred bucks, two dozen is really spectacular. You just put in new tiers or you just double up each row and two on top for the two of you anniversary. But... It goes back, remember the basing we did the other day? It's the basing, only they're on direct tiers as opposed to the other day. So I'm waiting for the, the YouTube comments to come in like, I don't know what they'll be this time, but last time like, my boss would kill me if I used that much green. I'm charging for every step. And tell you, got it? Ready, set, flower school 101.